Hello, welcome to MyCloud IT Support. In the last video, we showed you how to deploy remote applications in Azure. Today, I'll go into more detail about how to deploy a third-party application with the example of QuickBooks from the MyCloud IT platform. So let's get started. First, go to Deployments and choose the remote app deployment where you would like to install QuickBooks. If you are using Windows Server 2016, you will need to create an Active Directory user and grant him admin rights. Otherwise, you can use your own admin role to install QuickBooks. Copy the RD web URL for the deployment and open in a new browser. Log in with admin user credentials and download the RDP file. We suggest using Firefox as other browsers open the file automatically while Firefox gives you a choice to download and save instead. And don't forget to save your RDP file so you can quickly connect and install other applications on session hosts in the future. Open the RDP file and you will see the remote browser. Go to the QuickBooks website and install the app by following provided instructions. Look familiar? It is exactly how you would do an install on your local desktop. Install and provide the appropriate license key as usual. Once the application has been installed on the session host, you can go back to the MyCloud IT portal, navigate to the deployment, then to the remote app collection, and select Applications. Once all applications have been retrieved from the session host, the newly installed app should be listed. Select only the applications you want to publish for user access. It's that simple. Now whenever users access the remote app collection, they will see the application ready to download, save, and launch. If you need any additional assistance installing third-party applications in your remote app deployments, click on the live chat feature from within the dashboard to chat with a support engineer or leave us a message. That wraps up our demonstration on how to install third-party applications for remote app deployments. Thanks for watching.